Well, good afternoon, everyone. I am so excited to be with you today. So listen, I am Tracy L. James, and I am coming to you live today in the middle of a busy work day because I feel like it's important to get back out here and just really start sharing um, more about the upcoming women's retreat in November. I created this retreat because I realized that I kept not taking my own advice. And I always tell my clients, you need to take time for you. You need to take time to just really focus in and step away and schedule that time. Well, I realized I was burnt out. I was overwhelmed and I wasn't doing that for me. And so I decided to create a space where women entrepreneurs can step away from every single role they play and be able to really focus in on rejuvenating themselves so that they can rejuvenate their businesses. And today I am joined by my business twin, that's right, my girl, T. L. James, and she is going to be hosting the event with me. She's actually going to be our retreat MC, which means she's going to be interjecting the energy, the flow, all of that wonderful vibes going up, down, left, right. So that's my girl, T.L. James, y'all. Welcome her to the stage. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Pardon my mess because I had to go into the garage I'm, I'm getting my luggage out. I'm shining it and putting some stuff on. Um, we don't know about that. By the time the retreat come in November, I'm going to have a summer body together. So we're not worried about the summer body now. We're going to have that together in November. Okay. Um, I saw something about big bellies and titties in the air. Yeah, we're going to let it hang out. And the reason why I, I say that is because we have been cooped and boxed for so long that we need to have a minute to just unbox and let it all hang out. And if you notice right now, I'm letting all these grays hang out, but we're going to do some things with it because it's going to be super sexy in November. So I can cannot wait, girl, my luggage, my luggage. All I can do is think about my luggage right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I am not upset with you because I am thinking about November majorly because, you know, when I had the opportunity to go to San Juan in February, even though it was just a couple of days, oh my God, it was just amazing just to be so far enough away that if something needed to be handled, it was going to have to be handled on this end because I ain't here. Yeah. And it was nice to be able to relax and just relinquish that amount of control. And so one of the reasons that I asked TL to be the MC is because her energy, her vibe is one that will bring you out of a space of where maybe you're too into your head and you're not really thinking in the right way. She has the ability to kind of pull you back out of that. So um, TL, kind of share with everyone what your plan is. What, what, what are you going to be interjecting into the retreat um, in November? Well, one of the things in... Um, one of the reasons why I was so happy when you invited me to this is because um, when we sat down and you said you wanted to do this retreat in 2019, 2020, and we, we're not going to even do the rehash, okay? Um, Y'all could check the trailers with the COVID later. We're not doing that right now. Um, you said, I want to rejuvenate. I want to rejuvenate. And so we, it, that kept re reverberating in my head. I want to rejuvenate. There are so many times in which we go to different retreats and it's a water hose thing, you know, and it's just one of those, you're just doing one of this with information and we go to some awesome places, but we're stuck in a room or we're stuck in a, in a place and yeah, we might have live DJs and all of that, but you're still in a room. And so when you said, I want you to be the DJ because I want you to remind us Time out, okay, this is a retreat. Yes, we need, um, we're gonna be sharing information, lots of information, because she has some wonderful guests. But I'm gonna be the uh, time out, 
Okay, everybody pop their head off, pop the wig off, pop the weave off, pop all of that off. Let's, we need to go and put our feet in the sand and we need to connect, okay? What messages did you, did you need to hear versus what messages that you need to, you know, to say. And so that's one of the things where I'm gonna be one of those to um, remind you, this is a retreat, okay? Yes, some things are gonna get heavy, we're gonna get deep, but that's gonna be half the time. Uh, the other half of the time, we're gonna be laughing about, oh my God, do you remember this day in 2010, 2010? no, 1993? How did I get here? So I know we're gonna have a, I do not look like what I've been through. And just to have those conversations about, if I look like what I have been through, we would have been dead. <laughs> so that's one of the things that's gonna be super excited. Um, something hit my heart when we were talking about um, just planning things out and doing all of that. When you come to this retreat, there we're going to be talking about different types of communication, okay? And when, when people talk about communication, all they think is talking and listening. And that's like one component of it, you know? And I remember talking to my sister and she's very ethereal and I'm very literal, very logical. But if you, if there's a message that needs to hit your heart, and everybody has heard this is I heard what she said. I'm listening to what she's saying, but then I can see what she's saying. We need to get to that point where we're feeling all of it and synthesizing that information because we have it in our hearts. It might not be activated. We have the answers in our brains. They're just not activated. But when you can see what people are saying, then you can see your path to success. You see your path to resting. You see your path to the future where you want to be. You see your path to where you want to be now. And I am going to be that reminder. I'm probably going to be smelling like Bengay because I'm going to be trying to be doing all the challenges. You know, the give me some. I'm still working on that. Um, we're probably going to need some new knees in December, but we're going to really pop it off. And we're going to get to that part of, no, we're not going to be listening. We're not going to be hearing. We're going to see what is being said so we can structure our next steps in this rejuvenation. See, yeah, I see why <laughs> I wanted her to be a part of this. I'm telling you, um, having someone in this space that will help you shift that mindset because one of the reasons if you, when you go to the website, tracyljames.com forward slash retreat and you look at the agenda, okay? One of the things that you're going to see is the fact that, yes, there's conference time. All these different sessions with the different keynote speakers, breakout session speakers, but then every single day, there is time scheduled for relaxation. So time for, to go to the spa, time to go to the beach, time to reflect after each session. That's in the schedule. So when she says she's gonna say, time out that's going to be her she's going to lead you into that space of remembering that now it's time to reflect on what I just received and how it needs to impact me personally and then as a business owner so um excited. I'm super excited and and in case y'all hadn't noticed, I think a couple of times I've gone live with TL and we've been like <laughs> out to eat. Um, so the two of us love good food. And so I showed her some of the pictures of the food in San Juan. <laughs> Are you ready to go and eat with me? I am going to be in maxi dresses. I think one day I'm going to be super sexy. That might be the first day. But after that, I'm going to make sure my toes, my hair, and my feet are done because I'm going to be in maxi dresses. Do you hear me? Matt, we're talking about full retreat on mode, maxi dresses. Um, I want to eat. And I think one of the things that are that's most important to me is 
building these memories. So this is the part where you're building memories and building that um, feeling of fulfillment. Because when we're out here and we're in our grind and everything, sometimes we feel like we're doing this alone. But when you are building that bank, that emotional bank of I have support, I have memories, I have people who are behind me who I don't even know, because those are the main people who support you are the ones that just you don't even know to build that network. That, that, and that's the one big thing that I, I see that we need to start doing now um, is building that network. Unless you are somebody who, and, and don't say nothing because it's illegal, unless you're printing money, nothing is self-made. You know, you need an exchange of energy and ideas and currency. And so you are not this solopreneur, you might be a micro in your business, but you're working with entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, independent, any of those. I'm a W-2 preneur, okay? I'm going to always have a W-2 because I always want to see how I can mess up other people's stuff to make sure my business is better. That's just me. Um, but to have that information and to build that and start building that network, you know, there was this one little man and I love him about the nine, 952 million, 58 people, BBB, and it's not you. No, it's not you, but we need you and you need other people. And so let's build these memories because if I'm sitting here stuck in my living room and I go back and I say, I remember when Tracy fell because she thought she was trying to do the cha-cha slide somewhere here, here and there, I'm going to remember, oh, I need to make sure that I put money in my bucket for profit. You know, that is how we build those mechanism um, molecules of information on those memories. You know, so that is why I'm here to make sure we have those and put those emotional banks together. Plus, I'm tired. I'm ready to go somewhere. I want to be around certain people. people. Not all people. <laughs> certain people. Okay. I want to be able to pop bottles. And we're going to have in my, well, I can't, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this. Don't tell nobody. But um, there are going to be some after hours in my suite. So we're not getting up at no seven o'clock or eight o'clock in the morning unless you know you're doing all that kumbaya and, and yoga and stuff. We're gonna have some after hour situations. And so I want the memories. Absolutely. I want to be able to, to know and be and laugh and joke and say, I remember this lady from California. I don't know her name, but boy, she had me laughing and that just filled my heart. And so that, that's why I'm gonna be here. I'm putting my memories together. We're going to be doing some things, okay? And we're going to have some fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because just because there is a purpose here in respect to your business doesn't mean you can't have fun in the process. Because I believe in having fun the entire time. Um, people who know me know that I can be a little goofy. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. And so I love to laugh. I love comedies. I'm that person that, while a good dramatic movie is awesome, but I'm at a point in my life where I cry all the time anyway. I don't need a movie to make me cry. So I like comedies because it keeps my spirits up. It lifts me and it takes me some space. Wonderful. So in the process of putting this retreat together, we want to make sure that you're having fun, that you're meeting other women from other parts of the country who you probably would have never met had you not joined us in San Juan. And right now we've got six seats left. I got six spots. I got to feel six spots. We going regardless of the six We spots. going. Even if you don't go, trust me, um, you going to see pictures, live streams from San Juan with us in it. So if you want to come and hang out with the TLs, this is and your she chance. got some cool people. You have some cool people that are coming. Oh, yes, yes, they... yes. I shared Ashley Martin with you uh, yesterday, Miss Leadership Lady herself, helping you develop your soft skills. I just saw in the comments, our girl, Dr. Shana, 
is in the process of flying back from St. Martin where she's hosting her retreat. And look, she hosting her retreat in September and then coming to join me at my retreat in November. So she's gonna be talking about making self-care the new sexy, all right? That's what we're gonna be doing. And then um, uh, I'm going to be sharing everything about really creating these processes and procedures to really position your business for growth. And if you want to do events, I'm going to help you do that as well. So we are going to be there sharing our journeys, our experiences as business owners and connecting you with others that can help be that, that support system. I'm always talking about my front row. And without my front row, let me just tell you, who I would not be sitting here in front of you. They're here for advice, encouragement, the kicks in the butt, all of that. And so when you can create a space like that for yourself, and sometimes you have to go outside of your core friendships. And I'm going to be honest, majority of the women who are on my front row right now are outside of my core friendships, those people I grew up with. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's about growth and progress. I still love all of those friends. I still care about them. I still even check on them. But when it comes to the day-to-day -day and that person that I need to be there and connected with, Business. it's a person that understands what I'm going through and what I'm dealing with as a, as a woman, as a business owner, as a mom, as a sister, as a caregiver, as every single role. You have to have those people who can understand where you're coming from. So um, before we wrap up, TL, is there anything else you want to share um, with our audience? What we're going to be doing. So one of my main things and my purpose that I have in my life is everything that I do. And when I say everything, everything in my life needs to be profitable. Now, I'm on the the downside of the medicare so i really don't need all them lessons so blessings are, are more you know i appreciate the blessings a little bit more but we still have lessons that we need to learn even the ones that they're you they're passed by and you can just read the little paragraph and say okay i got the lesson i don't need to go through the whole drill everything in my life needs to be profitable health wealth and relationships and i am going to give you nuggets on when we talk about what needs to be profitable That'll help you say your yeses and your noes, even to yourself. Because there are times when we don't even say no to ourselves. And it's kind of like, mm, that's a no. You, you should have known that that was a no. Um, making sure that we have our money, fun money that we have. Making sure that we have all of that. And so the one thing that I want to end with you on is this retreat. And I'm not talking about green because we're talking health, wealth, and relationships, of course, this retreat is going to be a profitable retreat. You're not going to come back the way you went in. And so you said six tickets, get the six tickets in because there are just nuggets that are going to happen and drop and profit that's going to be spread and cash flow of ideas and just opportunities that are going to be there, that if you're not there, we, we can't capture it again. It's kind of like trying to cap, redo the Super Bowl. You can't do it again. <laughs> and so be there, be there. We could probably have a luggage party. I'm probably gonna do a luggage party. Say, show everybody, show me your luggage. What we doing? Okay, who could be the cutest? Who gonna have the sexy maxiest dresses? That's all I'm gonna be wearing is maxi dresses. And so thank you, Tracy, because, oh, when she said she wanted to go, I started picking out my luggage that day. She didn't even tell me what the retreat thing was. I was like, okay, so we're going to have a white party. We're going to have a goddess party. We're going to do this. And she's like, wait, wait, wait. Well, what about the content? We'll get to the content. But I need to be cute. What are my outfits? Okay, do I need to change my, you know, with my nail polish, my hair and all of this? And she's like, okay, the content. We'll have the content because the information will be there. But let's build this experience. And you have built that experience. And I can't wait. When we leaving? We leave on November 9th. 
so that we'll be on the ground when they arrive on November 10th. Because we're going to make sure everything is all set. Let me just say this. I will not be in the air traveling to San Juan while you're doing it. Okay. Me, my team, we will be there on the 9th. And we're going to make sure everything is set up for you. So that from the moment you arrive in San Juan, Puerto Rico, we got you. We got you. We All right. And we're going to take it very good care of you while you're there and making sure that you have an enjoyable experience and then you're able to come home rejuvenated. So yeah. thank you all so much for uh, joining us. If you're catching this on the replay, please still put your comments and your questions in there. We will be glad to answer them for you. So otherwise, I will see you all next time. Take care. Have a great Tuesday. See you there.